Hello, my friends. Welcome back to The Chew. I'm Robert Wallace. This is a place where we ask, are we choosing the way of Jesus or are we choosing our own way? As we continue to look at Mark chapter 6, verses 1 through 13, and then 30 through 31, we've been focusing on the fact that not everyone believes and that busyness impedes our progress, impedes, impedes our growth. And today we're going to look at the fact that rest is required. And we touched on verse 31 yesterday. We're going to look at it again. It goes like this. Then, because so many people were coming and going, they did not even have a chance to eat. He said to them, come with me by yourselves to a quiet place and get some rest. You know, the disciples back from their journey of faith, they've been teaching, and we talked about all this yesterday, and these guys were on cloud nine. They were on the mountaintop, you know. They had all this great news to share with Jesus. But they walked back into a situation that was really busy and chaotic, and Jesus said, you guys need to get some rest. You need to come with me to a quiet place and get some rest. We don't realize it, I think. Sometimes we're riding a high, we, we were, we've been in a victory, and we just don't realize that we're tired. We just don't realize that we are becoming vulnerable to attacks from the devil. We don't realize how important it is in that moment that we really need to go to a quiet place to get with Jesus to be in his presence and allow him to help us. We know this is true when we're in the valley, right? When things are going hard, when things are, are not going well, we know that we need to get back to the source. And the truth is we need to be connected to the source everywhere in between. Whether we're in the valley, on the mountaintop, or on the way up or down, doesn't matter. We need to be tuned in. We need to be with our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, connected to Him. Mark does a good job of painting this picture for us so that we can see what's going on. What we really see very clearly in addition to that is Jesus' invitation to us, as it was to the disciples, to come to a quiet place with me, to rest. Jesus is always inviting us to create space in our lives so that we can rest in him and with him to become renewed, restored, and re-energized. Havner Vance wrote this. Think about this real closely. Jesus knows that we must come apart and rest a while or else we may just plain come apart. God's Word, Jesus, the Holy Spirit, it all works together to help us avoid coming apart. I just now remembered one time I read a t-shirt that said that a Bible that's falling apart is an indication of a life that isn't falling apart. It's really good stuff. So let me ask you, are we mired in busyness? Are we coming apart because of the weight of busyness? Are we willing to come to Jesus to a quiet place to rest with Him and in Him? Don't forget, Jesus got off by himself a lot so that he could go to the Father to rest and to be re-energized, to be readied for the next day, the next time that he would share. This is the way of Jesus. Are we going to choose his way? The way that leads to life and life in the full? Or... Are we going to choose our own way? I'm praying for us today as we consider what I've shared here and we reread this passage 
that we're going to invite the Holy Spirit to give us eyes to see and ears to hear God's truth from His Word. That we're going to have receptive hearts and minds to receive these truths and then that we're going to take a step of faith today and do what the Holy Spirit leads us to do. Have a blessed day, my friends. Go in the peace of God. Bye for now.